What's up, Rev fam? Welcome to my kitchen. You guys know what time it is. It's time for an episode of The Rev Cooks. Come on, follow me. Let me show you what we're up to tonight. So listen, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, man, one of my favorite foods to eat, and to be honest with you, still is, is pizza. Now listen, don't get it twisted. I can call in and go get one whenever I want, but every once in a while, especially on a rainy day or sometime you just feel like getting it in and getting those hands dirty, we wanna make a homemade pizza today from scratch. We're gonna make a homemade New York style pizza up in this place tonight. I'll tell you what else we're gonna do if you stick with me. I'm gonna show you a homemade sauce that we're gonna, we're gonna do it in multiple ways. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this this sauce we're gonna use it for our pizza but that's not it once we've taken enough out for the pizza we're gonna add to the sauce and we're gonna turn it into a meat sauce and everything meat sauce you can put it on everything you can put it on raviolis and spaghetti you know I'm feeling awfully Italian tonight baby because it's on cooking with the rev come on let's get into it I'm gonna tell you we're gonna have a great time this evening follow me so we're gonna get started right now with making our dough. Here's the thing, guys. We're gonna use about, go ahead and write this down. We're gonna use three cups of all-purpose flour. You know what, let me open this up for you guys so you can see what we're working with. I'm cheating a little bit tonight. I got the KitchenAid out, already got two cups in there. We're gonna throw that in there, bang. We got three cups, all-purpose flour. Listen, I got some yeast right here. You guys have seen these little yeast packets. Uh, what is it? Fleischmann's, I guess is how you say it. Let me make sure you got that. I gotta find something to cut it with. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't have myself ready for that aspect of this situation. But if you guys ever dealt with these, you know, you gotta cut them open. So we're gonna add a packet of instant yeast to this. Now, there's multiple kinds. Any kind will work the, as far as these little packets go. I just saw this one and it said pizza. So I figured, hey, the Rev cooks, we throw down. Why don't I try it? So guess what? We're going with it tonight, if I can ever get it open. So we're gonna to add to this our yeast packet. Someone says, but, but Rev, you're not blooming that yeast? Not for this recipe. I'm trying to make a New York style recipe, and I know that that's kind of crazy to say because there's multiple different ways to even make New York pizza. It's not like there's one specific New York pizza. But listen, this is how we do on the rep cooks. Every once in a while, we just throw it in there, we try something new. Normally what I do, guys, is I have another recipe, and I can share it with you later, where I actually will bloom the yeast a little bit, and then what I do is I add other things to this uh, mix than what I'm doing tonight. It's more of a big people pizza. So I'll add some seasoning to it, some garlic, to make a real garlic, uh, a real garlic bread style pizza, and then what I do is I stuff the crust and all that kind of stuff. We're, we're not doing that tonight. We're gonna keep it simple, because tonight we're making something for the kiddos that the kids will enjoy. So listen, to this, we already have our yeast packet. We want to add a little bit of salt. Let's say about half a tablespoon of salt to this. Let's get that in there, bang. Get the salt in there. We want to add a little bit of sugar. Let's say about a tablespoon of sugar. That way we can make sure that we got this, uh, give this yeast something to eat on, you know? Give it something to eat on. And guys, you can actually use this recipe for other things as well. I know some people use it for, to make baguettes and make different things like that, but we're gonna make a New York style crust. And so here's the thing, guys. What we wanna do is we wanna combine this real good, and I'm cheating tonight. I've got the KitchenAid out. So I'm gonna stir this in a little bit, get it ready, get the KitchenAid ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let the KitchenAid work, and we are gonna knead this bad boy for about 20 minutes. We wanna make sure that we get this thing. Listen, if you were gonna, I know, I know, I hear you, I feel you, I hear what you're saying. If you were a real man, you'd be doing it all by hand. Yeah, I know, yeah, I, guess what? I could need the whole thing by hand, but we'd be here a long time, wouldn't we? So listen, someone hooked me up with this sweet baby and we're gonna use it. Listen, we're gonna use it so we don't lose it. So we wanna make sure I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything with you on with this tonight. We want to also drop in. Listen, we're going to use a cup and a half of cold water. Now we want to enter. We want to put this water in. We're going to put this water in 
little bits at a time. We're not going to, to sit, we're not just gonna dump it all in. We're gonna let this thing work, okay? To this mixture here, we need to add about a tablespoon of what uh, Rachel Ray, Rachel, if you're watching this, you inspired me, girl. You inspired the rev. Watch this, a tablespoon of E-V-O-O. -O. We wanna add just about a tablespoon of oil to this mix. Let's let this thing start to do its magic, start to work, and we're gonna get this dough ready to go. Now, if you've ever made pizza or made pizza dough or anything before, you know that you wanna let this thing rest. So we are going to cook the, we are gonna, yeah, cook it. We're going to go ahead and start adding our water to this. And we're gonna get that dough going. Let's get a little bit of a, a little bit at a time. Let it work its magic. Let it work its magic. Let it work its magic. You know, when I'm doing other recipes in this KitchenAid, I actually have a device that will clean off the sides for me. But I don't think that's gonna work too good kneading some, some dough together. So we're gonna let this work. There we go, now it's starting to form up. Guys, here's the thing. I want to share with you the importance of tonight. I want to share with you the importance of process. Let's keep it real. A lot of times we want to eat something great, but we don't want the process to make it. It's the exact same with life. A lot of times we have greatness locked in the inside of us, but we don't want to go through the process that's required to get the greatness out. I'm telling you guys, some of you watching this, you're in process right now. Your life has been in a process. I'm telling you, it's been crazy. And let me tell you what, nothing you've been through is gonna be wasted. God is gonna get glory out of your life. This is cooking with the Rev. Now listen guys, let's head over and let's do the sauce. Hey guys, listen, sauce time. We wanna take, let's go ahead and, Gotta be nice to have your stove on there, Rev. Let's do about two tablespoons of, ol of olive oil. Nice little splash of olive oil. What we wanna do is we wanna start a base for this sauce. So here I've got about, about six cloves of garlic. Now listen, I'm making this for three different recipes for three nights, that's a lot of sauce. You can do everything I'm doing with this sauce and half it and be just fine. We wanna take, actually, the sauce. Normally I would put two whole yellow onions. And for you that love onions, you definitely wanna do that. But when I was looking through my stuff tonight, I realized I only have one. But that's okay, it'll work out just fine. So to that, we wanna take our onion, right? We want the onion to go in first. Let's peel him off, because you know we don't want any of that outside part of the onion. And guys, remember, it's, it's, it's that quarantine type season, so make sure you're washing your hands, please. I know I've been doing that off camera, but the Rev takes his hand washing pretty serious. You know, the Bible says that we're to have clean hands and a pure heart. And I'll tell you what, in this season of coronavirus, all of us should at least have clean hands. Here's what I'm doing, guys. Now, really, all this needs is a nice chop or, or a rough dice. Now, I picked the wrong knife for this. Uh, you can see I have my chopper there. Now, however thick you want these, these onions, it's really up to you, right? I'm gonna tell you why. We're making a sauce now. I'm gonna tell you a little secret tonight. I'm gonna show you a secret how you can make a grown-up flavored sauce that's kid-friendly. Because my kids are outside right now. They're not gonna hear this trick, so I can tell you. The fact of the matter is, I like the flavor of stuff too. And you know, some kids, my kids can be a little picky, you know, and we wanna go ahead and add a little bit of, excuse me guys. We want to 
just add a little bit of salt to these. That'll help draw the moisture out of them. We're gonna start, we're gonna saute these just for a few minutes over medium, medium high heat. You can cook it as high as you want if you pay attention. But we want to saute, saute these down just so they start to let some of that flavor out. And after that goes for about a minute, we're going to add our garlic. And here's what we're going to do. While that's cooking down before we add our garlic, let me show you what I'm using tonight. I'm using San Marzano tomatoes. Uh, this is Cin uh, I guess Cento is what I call it, Cento brand. San Marzano whole peeled potato, tomatoes, yeah, potatoes. I'm going to guys show you how, how show you how to rock these. Now some of you have never seen someone open a can like this because you don't realize you've been doing it wrong your whole life. But watch this. The Rev just taught you something. The Rev just taught you something. What? What, you didn't have to grab it and get your fingers cut? What? No, you don't. No, you don't. That's what we do with cooking with the Rev. We bring knowledge to the masses. So while we're doing that, as you can see, we want to pay attention to these onions because I turned it up a little higher. You can start to smell. Oh, I wish you could smell. You can't smell. I wish you could. We want to go ahead and add our garlic down. We're going to make this sauce. Now listen, you can add as much garlic and onion and stuff as you want. It's your food. I'm just giving you a template. So what we're going to do, while that's cooking down, we're going to finish opening these up. And I'm going to show you the best kitchen utensil that you have. It's called your hand. Because that's how we're going to do this. See that guys? Nice and easy. So what we're going to do here, now that our onions and stuff are getting ready, cooking down, getting that nice smell, you guys that cook know what I'm talking about right here, we're ready for the next phase. We want to start adding our tomatoes. So listen guys, wash your hands, get ready, this is serious business. So be careful because this can get away from you. What I like to do is just pull a whole tomato out and just squish it. Listen, as squishy as you want it is up to you. I'm going to show you something about this sauce once it's ready as we're cooking it. Because here's my secret. Some people, they like their sauce chunky. So you, you can, if that's you, that's fine. You can keep it chunky if you want to. But what I'm gonna do is when the sauce is finished, I'm gonna hit it with an emulsion blender. You guys see that? I got sauce flying everywhere. And I can't hide it from Pastor Crystal either because she's the one that's helping me even right now. So. <laughs> If I make a mess, it's just how we do. So we want to squish these down. Get these nice and squishy. And we're going to let that cook down. We're going to mix a few more things into this, guys. And we're going to let this cook for about 30 minutes. Make sure you mash it up. I, I really don't, I'm just showing you how to do it. I really don't even need to mash it that much because I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna hit it with an emulsion blender and turn it into a fine sauce so that for the pickier eaters that don't wanna see the chunks and all that stuff, that'll be taken care of. And you know what, if you don't have one, guys, they're not that expensive, you know? Go grab yourself an emulsion blender. You'd be surprised what you can make and do and really make a sauce. And it's a, it's a texture thing. You know, there's a lot of people that do not like stuff that's chunky. I know for me, if I had to choose between a chunky salsa and a fine salsa, I'm going to take, I'm gonna take a, a fine one all day. I'm not about that chunky life when it comes to this type of stuff. But some of you are, and that's okay. Let's wash the hands real quick and get back at it. So listen guys, the next, this next step in this process is pretty simple. We're gonna add a few things, and as you can hear right now, our dough is still working. It is still working. It's getting itself nice and ready. 
remember, we're gonna let, we're gonna knead that dough for at least 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're almost to that process now. So let's turn up the heat a little bit. Let's get this sauce cooking. Let's get it firing. To this sauce, what I have right here, we're gonna add four tablespoons of good old fashioned tomato paste. Add that in. We're gonna add the same amount. This is a little secret situation. You probably never seen someone do this in a sauce before like this. But we're gonna add some nice balsamic vinegar. Same amount, about four tablespoons. Puts a nice little bite to this. You know, this is a grown-up sauce, man. You hide the grown-up flavors by emulsifying them. Kids won't know the difference. We're gonna add that. Let's give it a nice little stir. Starting to bubble. Starting to go. Oh man, guys, I wish you could. I wish you could smell what my kitchen's starting to smell like already. But remember what I said earlier, you're in process. Sometimes the process takes longer than you think, but you're in process. To this, let's just salt and pepper to taste. I don't wanna add too much because there's some salty elements in there already. And what you can do is later on, before you're done, you can go back and test it, which you should always do, and see if you need to add some more salt later. So we have our garlic in there, our onion, we have our nice San Marzano tomatoes, and that sauce is starting to go. Now we're going to add about, let's do, I'd say about a tablespoon. I don't even have, my tablespoon, I used to that olive oil, so we will go old school. Let's do about a tablespoon of oregano, dried oregano. And again, you need to season things the way you like them. This is just the way the Rev does it. So let's do a tablespoon of that. To that, because I like to mix it up a little bit, let's do a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Some good Italian seasoning. Bam! Let's go, guys. Sorry, Emerald, I just took your bam, but I had to do it. I just had to do it. We cooking with the Rev. We getting it in tonight. And to that, let's add about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of crushed red peppers. Depends on how much, how spicy you like stuff. Like just to give it a nice little kick. And as you see by now, that thing's come, this sauce is coming up to a nice simmer. What we're gonna do, you gotta be careful now, we wanna cover this because if you don't, it's gonna bubble. And it'll shoot stuff all over your kitchen. Now here's the thing guys, I make a couple different types of, of sauce and this is going to end up, after being pizza sauce, becoming what's called a bolognese sauce, which is a meat sauce. I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do that in just a few minutes. But until then, let's see, I think our dough is about ready guys, come on over and follow me. So here's what we want to do. Dough's been working for about 20 minutes. We want to take it out. It should look like that. Ooh. Brush that thing off. Just like some of you brush your shoulders off. Brush your dough off. Nice and tacky and sticky. Matter of fact, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take the hook off, my dough hook, so I can really get this dough ready to go. Now if you've ever done it, if you haven't done this before, here's the, here's the key element to when you rest the dough. Whatever you put it in, you need to make sure you spray it, put some olive oil, do something. Don't just throw it in there. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's do it this way. We're gonna take a little bit of olive oil because this is an Italian recipe, so we wanna keep it as Italian as possible. Let's just put a little bit in there, just a little bit. Let's rub it around. We want to oil this up. Why do we want to oil this up, Rev? Why? Because you're in process. The dough is in process. Here's the thing, guys. The Bible teaches that the kingdom of God is like yeast. It works its way through the dough. And that's what's happening right now. You can't see it, 
but there is yeast working its way through this dough even as we speak. And what's going to happen is this dough is going to come together real nice. If I can get it out, Rev might have wanted to put a little bit more uh, flour on this. We can fix that later. So we want to go ahead and get this, get this down. And let's get it ready to sit. And the, the yeast is going to work its magic. It's going to work its way through the dough. The dough is going to expand. And listen, we're going to set this in a warm place. You know, listen, just don't turn your microwave on. Maybe cover it, put it in a microwave, and leave it sit for about 40 minutes. And I'll be back with you when that's ready. All right, guys, we're back. And as you guys might have guessed, it's been about 30 minutes. And I'm taking this, this off of the heat right now, the sauce. While that's been going, I want to go ahead and let you guys know, because I'm going to turn this into a meat sauce after I take out what I need for the pizza, I'm going to tell you I'm going to use the meat sauce. I'll tell you what I'll use, use it for. I'll use it for spaghetti. And also, I like to stuff manicotti with it and put some shredded cheese over it and bake it. Man, that's not a serious business. But listen, you can always chop the onions up a lot finer and they'll just melt away for you that, that don't want to go through this process but this is what I knew I was doing and for you that are wondering what this was if you want to add to the meat sauce what I do is I ground up right there you got a pound of spicy Italian sausage a pound of hamburger you say well why spicy Italian why not you don't want no sweet Italian come on man spicy Italian sausage isn't even spicy just use it stop being sissy fat all right anyway watch, watch this we're gonna go ahead and turn these off because they're ready follow me let me show you what I'm gonna do with the sauce I'm gonna take it Got to be very careful here. We're going to transfer it into something. Oh, I said be very careful, and I wasn't. The Rev had a spill moment. Don't pay attention to that. That's what happens when you go live. So here's what I do. As you guys can see, that's a beautiful sauce, and it is great to be used, actually, just as is. You know, you could, I, you could put it on a pizza. You could do whatever right now. I'd suggest overall to make the onions a little finer but hey do you but here is the kicker this is what we call child proofing it so what I do is I just take my emulsion blender stick it down in there and let it work remember we're all in process so the emulsion blender Uh, we had an O oh moment. Rev done the past the Christmas. This blender will grind up all the sauce. Okay? Now we're good. So what we want to do now is take what we need, since I'm teaching you how to make a pizza tonight, let's take what we need out for a pizza much sauce you need I don't know I don't know how you like your pizza I like a lot of sauce so we'll put a good bit of sauce on here so there's nothing to worry about then we want to chill it so throw that in the you can throw it in the freezer if you're gonna pay attention to it throw it in the refrigerator we want to chill that okay listen and now we want to take our sauce add it back to our meat mixture. We're going to stir that meat mixture up. We're going to let it go for another 30 minutes and then that's ready for whatever we want to use. Take it, refrigerate it, freeze it, whatever you need to do. Guys, I just showed you how to make a sauce for three nights right away. All right guys, we are back and our sauce is done. It's been chilling. The sauce is still in there getting nice and cool, so nice and tight so you can spread it real good over this pie. We also added our meat to make a meat sauce for later. And now, as you see, we're gonna pull the dough out. That dough has been sitting and it's, it's rising. The yeast is working its way through the dough. And as you guys know, that's the point of the process. 
Remember that the Bible teaches how the kingdom is like yeast working its way through the dough. My challenge for all of my Rev family is are you that change agent that's working its way through the dough of the world around you? Are you that element of change? Do not become like what you're trying to change or you won't be able to change it. So at work, are you yeast or are you dough? In your family, are you yeast or are you dough? Guys, here's the thing. As kingdom agents, we got to be people that learn how to change the environment around us. Because if we don't, we might get squashed. You guys know what's next if you ever made pizza before. You got to give her a nice stab, right? So now we're going to get our dough out. Here's what I need you to do. Take some cornmeal, spread it around. You can, you can use flour if you want to. But if you've ever had a New York pizza, you guys know that they get down with the cornmeal on the bottom. We want to take our dough out and we're going to set that down and we're going to get right at working that dough. But here's the thing guys, could I roll this dough out? Yes I could. Yes I could. Am I going to? No. Why? Because I'm making a more New York style dough. I want to get those air pockets in there. I want to get it ready. I'm going to stretch it out and we're going to transfer it right onto this plate. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now here's the scary part. Slide it over. Sometimes, let's just try to get this up on here. Get it up on here. Yeah. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. All right, guys, as you see, I got our pizza transferred the way it needs to be. We're gonna shred some cheese here. Again, it's as much as you want. It's all up to you. Extra cheese, a little bit of cheese, no cheese. I'm using a mozzarella here, and the reason I like to use cheese that's already in a block and shave it is because while you can use the other cheese, you have to know, if you didn't know, that cheese that's already shredded in a bag already is covered with some type of wax or something to keep it uh, lasting in your refrigerator for a long time. So it does affect the flavor a little bit. But as for me, hey, I don't mind. I want to have the block and shred it. If it wasn't for us doing this right now, I might even be cheating. And one of the, one of the major ways I cheat is I take my KitchenAid appliance and shred with that. And you guys, listen, you can do a lot of things with this dough. You can go ahead and make, uh, you can fold it over into a thin crust. Whatever it is you want to do, guys. It's your pizza. It's your pie. Spread it out. Put some sauce on there. I like it saucy. I know some people don't. I think Pastor Crystal, for example, she gets mad at me sometimes because I think she thinks I, I like a little bit too much sauce. But, hey, if the Rev's cooking, the Rev's going to do it the way he wants. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead and do this. It's ready for the cheese, man. Just go ahead and take, oh, almost forgot something. Take a little bit of Parmesan. This is a little trade secret I watched someone else do and I like it. Take a little bit of Parmesan and sprinkle it before you put that next layer on. It gives a little bit of bite to it. People are like, what's that different thing? That's what it is. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead, spread out. Now, if you don't like Parmesan, obviously you don't. But we're gonna go ahead and use our mozzarella, freshly grated, and we're gonna put it all over this pizza. Now guys, as for me, I like extra cheese. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grate some more. We're gonna use it all. Now you guys can just throw it in like this. You can add some more elements, whatever it is you want. My family are just, they, they are pepperoni people. So we're gonna take some good old pepperonis. We're gonna layer this bad boy up. You might say that's too much pepperoni. No such thing, guys. Listen, this goes into a preheated, preheated 460 degree oven until it's done, about 15 minutes. 
You gotta preheat it guys. If you don't, and you got a bacon oven and it rapid heats and you throw that in there and you, oh no, I forgot. And you heat it up, it'll burn the mess out of your pizza. So make sure it's preheated. Check back with me in a few minutes and we'll have it ready. All right guys, finished product time. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, babe, look at that. Listen, they say you can't get New York style pizza in a regular oven. Yeah. Hold up, let's test it. Now, here's the thing. Normally I would have a bigger pizza, a bigger pizza pan so I could stretch it farther, but I couldn't find my big one. I think I might have thrown it away by accident. So that's why the crust is pretty high here. It's not because I did a stuffed crust. Listen to that. Oh yeah. It's going to be nice. All right, guys, you guys know the drill. The process is complete. You're in process. Don't give up until the finished article is right before your eyes. Guys, you know the drill. Like and subscribe. Go down right now. Put some comments down there. Hit that notification bell. I'll let you know when I'm live. In the future, as I'm doing Rev Cooks or Rev Talks or all these things, they will be live. I'm just waiting on a little bit of equipment coming from China. You guys know how that is right now in this season. But anyway, guys, God bless you guys. Pray the favor of the Lord be upon you. Until next time, this is the Rev. I'm out.